Good morning and welcome to Recreational Power Sports. I'm Andreas. Today, I just want to show you a quick overview of hubkits and how hubkits are affecting the market and the industry like nothing ever before. The old adage of a standstill prop hitting a rock and wrecking the entire drivetrain of the motor is kind of falling from the wayside. This baby here is an old style rubber Preston rubber hub. This is what you'll see on most of the older props that were made back in the 80s and the 90s. Now with today's technology, they've moved to removable hub kits for a much bigger advantage. The beautiful thing is you, there's usually four, four part components to a hub kit. You, one is the thrust washer on the back side. You have the insert. You have the piece that is connecting into the insert and to the prop shaft itself. When these two have an argument, usually the plastic or the uh, Delron sleeve by Mercury will fail. This is meant to shear away and shear out when it does fail because it is in interlocked like that. This is the first generation or the old style of the Mercury hub kit, which I really like because the prop wrench that fits nicely into the grooves also fits the tabs on the side that you lock down and you lock down every other one. So this prop wrench is kind of a, uh, an all you need tool because it unlocks the tabs and it actually torques your nut up also onto your prop. Um, shaft. The other, uh, the new style now from Mercury today is they've gone to a crimp style locking um, tab where you actually have to lock the nut on with the wings and lock it up. So you can't use the proper wrench for that anymore. You probably need a pair of pliers or a needle nose pliers at least and a screwdriver. It really helps. Same idea, two piece sleeve, the Delron sleeve slides in. And I believe this is stainless steel going into the Delron sleeve where the other one was brass. The old school one is brass going into the Delron sleeve. And sometimes they have a really nice tight fit. Sometimes they don't. It's, it doesn't matter. Turning point does a same idea. You need a thrust washer to stop the propeller from eating the gear case. You got a, your sleeve here, which is easier now where the brass and the plastic, if they have a, an argument, whenever you hit a rock, it'll shear out and shear away and save the drivetrain. So unlike the rubber hub, which was always in there too strong, too good, wouldn't, wouldn't spin out, um, now you don't have that problem either. The other reassurance you have now is because this is round, sometimes from old age and exhaust, the rubber would wear down and wear down and you actually spin in here and catch and grab and catch and grab and you think it was your gear case or you think it was um, the drivetrain, but it's not. It actually was the rubber hub grabbing and letting go all the time. So with the new style of the hub kits now being rectangular or square, you don't have that problem no more because either they grab or they don't, which is awesome. And this is just another example of M-Root style of their plastic sleeve. With the brass, obviously the plastic is much thinner and it's going to shear away if you ever hit a rock. Hi. So now, now that you've seen the hub kits and how they work, once you do buy a prop and the prop needs to have a hub kit inserted, it's quick and easy to do. Any one of these hub kits, basically you're grabbing the sleeve, you're going to plop it in. I grab my rubber mallet, which I'm hiding on you right here, I give it a whack. Then I use a thrust washer and I use the tab of the thrust washer to countersink. This is kind of like my installer tool with my hammer. I insert it that way. Now the sleeve is all the way in. The thrust washer is seated properly. Now I can add my insert and now I can add my, put this onto the prop shaft and then I add my locking collar and my, and my nut and I just torque it nice and snug and don't forget to lock your fins. What happens is if you don't and you put the boat into reverse, the propeller will unscrew your nut right off if you don't lock the wings on or lock your tabs on. So very, very, very important to do.